unboxing and setup for the updated HP Reverb G2. Hi, and welcome to HP How To For You, HP's customer support blog. I'm Steph. I'm Bill. And we are here to bring you tips, tricks, and how-to information to help you get the most out of your HP products. Today, we're going to unbox and set up the HP Reverb G2, HP's VR headset, complete with a trio of new upgrades that make our original award-winning headset even better. Let's get to it. The packaging allows easy access to everything, and molded cardboard is used to reduce the use of plastics. I love that HP is dedicated to creating a more sustainable future. In the box, we have the headset and Oculink to USB Type-C and DisplayPort cable. Next, we have the controllers and batteries, along with the power brick and power cable. And finally, two adapters, USB Type-C to USB Type-A adapter and DisplayPort to Mini DisplayPort adapter. If you ever need the serial number of your headset, you can find it under the face mask on the left side. Now, let's go over system requirements and specifications. Basic system requirements include the following. Please ensure you have the latest Windows 10 update, May 2019 or later, loaded onto your system as significant improvements have been made to Windows Mixed Reality. Your operating system needs to be Windows 10 version 1903 or 1909 or 2004 or later. In fact, always be sure to keep your operating system, software, and firmware up to date. Windows 11 is also supported. For processors, i5 or i7 8th generation or better, the Intel Xeon E3 1240v5 equivalent or better, or the AMD Ryzen 5 1400 or better, at least 8 gigabytes of RAM, DisplayPort 1.3, USB 3.0, and a graphics card that supports DirectX 12. At the time of this video, the current crop of mid to high-end graphics cards should work. However, some of those may only support half resolution. Keep in mind that as newer cards are released, you'll need to check their capabilities to ensure they will work with the HP Reverb G2 headset. Check the Quick Specs document on hp.com for more detailed and updated specifications. We put a link in our description of the video below for your convenience. Before you get to experience VR with your new headset though, you must check a few things on your PC. Select Start, select Settings, select Update and Security, select Windows Update, and then install any updates. Updates may vary based on your own personal setup. After the updates run and your PC restarts, select Start, then select Mixed Reality Portal. Click Get Started. Microsoft Mixed Reality includes a system check of your computer to ensure it has the system resources to use the hardware. Click on I Agree to agree and continue. The system check should come back with Good to Go. If it doesn't, identify the areas that don't meet the specifications and you can take appropriate actions such as freeing up enough disk space or updating your graphics driver. Click Next. Now comes the fun part, connecting your headset. I'll let Bill take that one. The first and most important step is connecting the headset to the Oculink to USB Type-C and DisplayPort cable. One of the HP Reverb G2 key updates is an updated six meter cable for increased compatibility with your system. To fully seat the cable to the headset, you'll need to remove the face mask from the headset. Insert the cable connector dot side up into the slot along the top edge of the headset. Push until you hear a click. You'll want to make sure that the dot on the cable is aligned with the edge of the headset, indicating that it is fully seated. Put the face mask back into the headset. Make sure that the cable runs on top of the headset frame and through the cable loop on the back of the headset. Allow enough slack to put the headset in the up position when needed. See how the cable is able to move as I lift the headset. Now, let's get it connected to the PC. There are two connectors at the end, a full-size display port and a USB Type-C. Both are required to run the headset. 
If you're using a desktop, plug the DisplayPort cable into the DisplayPort on your video card at the back of your PC and the USB-C into an available USB-C port on your PC, or preferably on the back. If you have a USB-C port on your video card or on the front of your PC, it may not support the right functionality required for the headset, which is why we suggest plugging it into the back. If you don't have a full-size display port, you can use the DisplayPort to Mini DisplayPort adapter. And if you don't have a USB-C port, you can use the USB-C to USB-A adapter, like we're showing on this notebook. An important note here is that the headset requires DisplayPort 1.3 or later. You can't use a DisplayPort to HDMI adapter. So if you don't have a DisplayPort on your graphics card, it will not work as demonstrated on this notebook. For the final step, the headset requires power. Plug in the included AC adapter into the junction box. The VR headset will not function if it is not plugged in and turned on. Now we want to adjust the headset. To put it on, the headband should be rotated up. Hold the headset to the eyes with one hand, then pull the headband down with the other. Adjust the speakers over your ears to get a full sensory experience. When done with the headset, do the reverse to take it off. This is important because if the displays are not aligned with your eyes, the image may be blurry. Sliding the headset on and off could result in the displays being misaligned to your eyes. But one of the HP Reverb G2 key updates includes a new face gasket designed that enables eye relief to be set to either 9mm or 15mm, enabling users to better dial into their visual sweet spot. Once the headset is on, you'll want to adjust it using the hook and loop fasteners. There's one on top and one on each side. Loosen and tighten for that perfect fit. The back of the headset frame should be positioned to cradle the occipital lobe. Wearing it there will improve your field of view. In Windows Mixed Reality, click Next twice. The app will search for the controllers. The controllers are paired out of the box. But if they show paired not connected, turn the controllers on by pressing and holding the Windows button on the controller for three seconds. If the controllers do not connect, you can manually pair by clicking Manual Pairing on the app. If the controllers are paired not connected, you'll need to select Unpair Controller before you attempt to pair. Then follow the on-screen instructions. The pairing button is located in the battery compartment, and while you have that open, you should check your batteries. Make sure you are using a fresh set of AA alkaline batteries, or to be more sustainable, you can use rechargeable batteries rated 1.5 volts. One thing to be aware of is that many rechargeable batteries are only rated for 1.2 volts, which will not provide enough power for the controllers. Check the voltage and you can be sustainable too. Click Next on this screen to get to know your controllers, which is the third key update for the HP Reverb G2, Improved Controller Tracking. The improved tracking happens below the waist with 30% more vertical area coverage. This will also be included on the HP Reverb G2 Omnicept Edition. After you've gotten to know your controllers, click Exit to launch Windows Mixed Reality Setup. If you have limited space, you can use the Reverb G2 while seated. But for a full VR experience, you'll want to use the headset while standing and set up boundaries in your room. To do this, follow the on-screen instructions. Once your space is set, put the headset on and enjoy the Windows Mixed Reality Portal. The new virtual home environment for Windows Mixed Reality devices features a significant reduction in scope and size, streamlined down to a singular stage instead of the more feature-rich cliff house that we've been experiencing for the last few years. Built with performance in mind, Infinite Expanse was designed to address long-standing customer requests for a less resource-intensive virtual home environment, allowing customers to get the best performance out of their games and experiences. The new virtual home environment can be found in the Pins panel within the Places menu. What you're seeing on screen now is what Bill is seeing in his VR headset.
The Reverb G2 was created in partnership with both Microsoft and Valve. And with the new environment, you can start playing Steam VR games faster. A new setting is available to automatically launch Steam VR when Mixed Reality Portal launches, which allows you to bypass the Windows Mixed Reality Virtual Home environment and jump directly into Steam VR. This new setting can be found in the Settings app under Mixed Reality, then Startup and Desktop, then Automatic Startup. You can adjust other settings as well, giving you control by customizing the Windows Mixed Reality Startup experience. You have the ability to toggle to start Mixed Reality Portal on Head Mounted Display Plugin. You can toggle to start MRP when presence is detected, and you can toggle Open Desktop App on Desktop App Focus. Launching applications can be done in the Microsoft Mixed Reality Portal or through Steam VR. Please note that the Microsoft Mixed Reality Portal is required to run any VR application. And if you want to access games through Steam, both need to be open in order to play or work. You can power the headset down by pushing the power button on the junction box for three seconds or unplugging the power adapter from the junction box. And that's a wrap. You can find more videos just like this one on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash HP support. You can also find us on Twitter and Facebook at our support channels and on our HP support community at community.hp.com on the gaming accessory board. You can find us and other people just like you answering questions about your HP products. Bye. Bye. Click the Playlist tab to find your language. Find official HP support videos.